Hello, readers. I'm here today to read you my favorite book. It's called Ralph Tells a Story by Abby Hanlon. I love this book for many reasons. One reason I love it is because both the author and the illustrator have made this very funny character and his name is Ralph. The other reason I love it is because Ralph learned something really important at the end of it. This book is about writing. And the problem in this story is that Ralph is supposed to write a story, but he can't come up with an idea. He doesn't know what to write about. And I sometimes feel that way too. I can't wait to start reading with you. Are you ready to get started? Okay, let's start by taking a sneak peek. Now, when you take a sneak peek, you look at the cover and you do some thinking. You look at the back, see if there's a back blurb. There's not, there's nothing for us to read on the back. It just looks like some paper. So let's take a look at the front cover. I see a character on the front cover and I already know that this is Ralph. Looks like these maybe are his classmates or his friends and they're all looking at him. He kind of looks like a teacher right now and it looks like he has a paper in his hand. What are you thinking about the cover? Okay, let's start. It has all these pages with Ralph's name on it, but no writing or no drawing. Look at Ralph. Oh, man. <laughs> Looks like he's having a hard time finding what to write about. My teacher always said, stories are everywhere. And the kids in my class were always finding them. And then my mom ran so fast that she caught up with the ice cream truck. Yay, stories, stories. And after that, I decided to hide my Halloween candy in my bed. I ran down the hallway with my underwear on my head. The dentist forgot to give me a toothbrush. But every day at writing time, I thought really hard. I stared at my paper. I stared at the ceiling. I could not write a story. I'm thinking about how Ralph is feeling right now. It doesn't say how he's feeling, but by the looks of the picture, it looks like he's feeling frustrated or worried. Then grandma gave me a cup of coffee and said, don't tell your mother. Wow, look at all the students writing in this picture. Ha 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 ha, I have no story. Whoa, look at this kid. Look at how long his story is. So I looked for other things to do. I went to the water fountain. Can I go to the bathroom again? I roamed the halls, the hallways. I tried everything. Can I go help the lunch ladies? What? Stories happen to those who tell them. Then one day after getting sent back to my desk, I begged Daisy for help. I can't write a story because nothing happens to me. Are you kidding? She said, I've written tons of stories about you. I wonder what she's written about Ralph. Okay, let's see what story she's written. She began pulling her stories out of her desk. Look at this one, she said. Remember the time you let me brush your hair? And this one, remember the time you knocked out all the crayons? Oh, and remember the time you painted your nails with a black marker? I thought, 
I'll never be a great writer like Daisy. Look at Daisy's writing. It was so quiet during writing time, and then crash. And then on the other side. Then the teacher said, no, it's permanent marker. Those sound like funny stories Daisy is writing. I'm stopping and thinking because, again, I'm seeing that Ralph is feeling a certain way. I thought, I'll never be a great writer like Daisy. He feels kind of discouraged. Let's see if he does anything. Let's see what he does. Then Daisy stapled all her stories together. Click, click. Wow, she said. This book is already 13 pages. Click, click. Can I use the stapler? I asked. I was really good at stapling. But you have nothing to staple, said Daisy. You have to find a story first. Just look around. True Stories by Daisy. I looked for stories out the window, in the aquarium, in my desk. Why do you have a, a socks in your desk? Hmm. <laughs> See, this is a part where I think Ralph is pretty funny. When my teacher wasn't looking, I looked for stories on the floor. <gasps> That's my favorite part. <gasps> Look, my next book. The Soccer Mystery by Daisy. But still, no stories. <laughs> Looks like Ralph is still on the floor. Lying under my desk reminded me of lying in the grass at the park. I closed my eyes and imagined I was at the park. Just like that, just like that time, a little inchworm crawled on my knee. The sun was shining right into my eyes. Squinting, I picked up the wiggly inchworm and looked at it close up. That's when my teacher found me. What's your story about? She asked. I opened my eyes. Um, um, an inchworm? Wonderful, she said. I can't wait to read what you wrote. But there was no inchworm story. Oh my gosh. Keep thinking about what do you think Ralph is going to do? He still doesn't have his story and he told his teacher that he did. I sat down and tried to write about the inchworm but right away I got stuck. Do you know any inchworm stories? I asked Daisy. She just rolled her eyes and kept on writing. Do you know what rolling your eyes means? It's when you go like this like Oh, like, you almost say, like, come on, you should know how to do that. Oh, that's what rolling your eyes mean. And then my teacher said, writers, come to the rug. Time to share. Ralph, why don't you go first, said the teacher. I pretended that I lost my paper. Look at all the other kids on the rug. Daisy has her stories. This kid is saying, please. Oh, 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 pick me. Oh, and I've spotted Ralph. I think you have too. There he is. Look at, there's another girl over here that's doing a back bend. Again, I can tell how Ralph is feeling on this page by the words and by the picture. Can you think about how he's feeling? It didn't work. He's sitting on it. I walked to the front of the rug. It took a long time. I held my paper against my chest so no one could see it. I was at the park, I said. An inchworm crawled on my knee. Wait, think about what's happening right now in this story. Is he real? Did he really write that yet? No, he's just thinking of it in his brain and he's saying it. It was quiet. 
my heart went thump, 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 thump. That's when I looked at Daisy. Wow, really? Did it feel squishy, Ralphie? Did you take it home? And then everybody started asking me questions. Did your mom let you keep it? Did you touch it? Was it a baby? Was it a girl? Did it tickle? Did you name it? Wait a minute, I thought. Something did happen with that inchworm. Well, I picked up the inchworm and decided to name him Nick. I built Nick a house, but he just inched away. So I followed him, which is why I didn't notice that someone was following me. And then all of a sudden, this wobbly, crazy baby grabbed Nick and put him in his diaper. No. I tried to be calm. Come on, baby, I said really nicely. Give Ralphie the inchworm. It didn't work. Was this the end of Nick? But then I noticed Nick was escaping. He crawled right up the baby's stomach. Quickly, I rescued Nick and ran. And we spent the rest of the afternoon doing nothing together. The end. Hey, that was a pretty good story. Everybody clapped and cheered. Show the picture, Ralph, someone said. Wonderful, hooray! Yay, Ralph! And look, you can see Ralph and Daisy giving each other a high five. I wasn't embarrassed anymore, so I did. And look, this is what he wrote. I was at the park. He had this story in his head. That was last year. This year, I write stories all the time. I keep finding stories everywhere. Hmm, this book might be too thick to staple. 100 Funny Stories by Ralph. Writing tips from Ralph. Step one, get comfortable. Step two, it's okay to ask for help. Once upon a time, what was that funny thing I did again? You can always write about what you had for breakfast. Yum. Four, eat lots of chocolate. Then on this last page, it gives some titles of books that Ralph has read. They're pretty funny too. Can you think about what Ralph learned in this book? He learned that he can come up with ideas and stories. And he had some of his friends like Daisy help him out. You can get help thinking of ideas or you can think of them yourself but you have so many ideas for stories in here. I hope that we're going to start writing soon and I hope that I get to hear all of your amazing stories soon as well. I hope you enjoyed our read aloud.